What's up guys, welcome to my new channel, Juice Your Money, where we'll talk everything about money, how to make some more money, uh, also have some fun doing it. Right now I've got some NBA basketball prism cards out, it's a hot commodity out there. Uh, prism right now, the hot, the, the uh, fast break box itself sells for about 400 to $500 uh, just for a pack of cards, and the reason why is because of this fella right here, Zion Williamson. Um, this is the silver prism, I pulled it from my cello pack a few months ago. Um, this thing goes for about 500 bucks itself right now, graded, um, where we could be talking anywhere from 800 to 2000 depending on what you get back in the grading. We'll also have uh, videos talking about investing in options. Um, I've actually got a options account right now, which I'm going to be making videos of. And you'll be able to follow along live with me, also um, day by day, just to see what I'm trading and the returns. Um, that account right now has about $1,000 in there, give or take a couple hundred bucks. And so we'll be doing basically a $1,500 challenge to see where we can get this account grown up, even with the way the economy is. Um, but yeah, we'll go into the options as well. But sit back and relax. We'll be opening up three cello packs as well as a fast break box in Hunt for Mr. Zion Williamson. A couple different variations come out of the cellos, so we've got a chance at the silver. Um, we can also get this red, white, and blue Zion. Also another big one is this red, white, and blue Ja Morant, as well as base Zion. And base John Morant. Another player I'm really high on if you're looking at investing um, in cards is RJ Barrett. Right now you can probably get his card pretty cheap, but when he comes alive, especially once he figures out the system, I think this card right here will be worth in the same range as Jaw and Zion. There are a couple other good rookies. Um, this is probably the best rookie class to come out since 2003, 2004, it has that potential. And so we'll be opening up various different packs of either cello. Um, we'll open up some hobby too. Um, maybe even open up some blaster bo or booster box. We'll see where we get hanger packs as well. Um, <clears throat> and if we get enough subscribers and likes, we may be opening up a National Treasures. If we hit 15,000 subscribers, we'll open up a Flawless box. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the like as well. All right, let's get into it. Got Sean Kemp, Dennis Schroeder, Malcolm Brogdon, rookie Darius Baisley. We'll set the rookies right here in the middle. Uh, we've got an insert for Romeo Langford and a green prism, not numbered, for Isaiah Thomas. Andre Drummond, Karis LeVert, good player. If you got his rookie card, hold on to him. Landry Shamit, Maria Hesiona, Alfred Payton, and a green Mikhail Bridges. Let's get into the red, white, and blue. Let's see if we can grab something special. Right off the back, we got a Derrick Rose, Jamal Murray, Gorian Dragic, and Derrick Rose. Well, wasn't the way we wanted to start it. Hopefully we can get better as this video goes on. Let's open up the red, white, and blue. 
All right, we got a Chris Middleton, red, white, and blue. Let's see if we can get a rookie in here. Dwight Powell and Bruno, the Grizzlies. Not the rookie for the Grizzlies, but hey, can't win them all. So yeah, if you're looking to invest in sports cards, um, right now you can pick up some Zions for about 100 bucks, 130 bucks um, on eBay. I suggest if the price comes down under 100 to scoop up some of those Zions, especially if you can get them in a decent centering. What I mean by centering is on both sides um, for sending them into PSA for grading. Magic Johnson, DeMar Carroll, DJ Augustine, Got a Kyle Lowry. Looks like Miles Turner next. And Larry Nance. So we got one rookie out of that whole, the two boxes. And we've got one. Insert. See if we can land the silver. Ooh, New Orleans. Ah, uh, not the Pelican we wanted, but hey, it's still a rookie. I still like Jackson Hayes as well. Uh, Jackson Hayes, I think he can be a good player for New Orleans. We got a rookie coming up, and it's Bruno Fernando and a silver Jackson Hayes. Hey, get this one sleeved up. Would have been nice if it was a Zion Silver. You really want to hang on to these rookie cards because um, once they explode their card value will take off and once it takes off it doesn't really come down unless they have like some sort of catastrophic injury or it was just a few game spurt okay we got denzel valentine harry giles and wilson chandler in the red white and blue All right, so that does it for the cellos. Okay, let's get into this fast break. Oh, sorry, got some packs right here. Cool. Got a Tyler Hero. Let's see if that's a silver Tyler Hero. Looks like it's a green one, but hey, Tyler Hero is a good rookie to hang on to as well. Rudy Gobert, man, shut the NBA down. Lou Williams. Chumo Okigi hasn't played yet. He's got a, uh, he's actually uh, worked a contract with um, the Orlando Magic to where he's actually not going to take any money until he starts playing. Let's go ahead and move some of this out of the way. All right, Chicago Bull. Let's see if we can get a Kobe White. That would be a good rookie, too. His rookie card has skyrocketed. About mid-December was selling for maybe a few bucks. Now you, now his base rookie is about 20. I mean, in bulk, you get a couple of these 20 bucks a piece. Make a little bit of money. We got a rookie coming up, and it's Cody Martin. And we've got a... Thaddeus Young, former Pacer. We've got this non-prism, non-silver, just a base dominance for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis, just give a little background on him. Um, his base prism from the 2013 pack when it first came out, his card may have sold for about 10 or 15 bucks on the base prism side. Now his base prism for his rookie card 2013 is about $1,200. A PSA 10, we're looking at about 1500 A silver prism, uh, the sky's the limit on that. I've seen some of them go for anywhere from eight to 10000 Some of them that are maybe nines go for about four or five thousand but 
there's money in cards and right now the way that the card industry is just booming um these guys that were collecting cards when when they were about 15 20 25 now they have kids and their kids are getting into it as well so this industry is going to take off which is why I, I don't recommend really buying packs. I do this as a hobby, but also investment. Um, but one thing you can do is if you find some rookies that you think have potential and their price is low, such as a Kobe White or a Jackson Hayes, um, you can probably get his silver prism for maybe about 10 bucks. But if you feel like he's going to blow up into a superstar, he learns to shoot the ball from Anthony Davis range, sky is the limit for a guy like this. And when that happens, that rookie card goes from that twenty dollars, three hundred bucks. You've made over ten times your money back on that card. All right, fast break. We got a Grant William rookie card. Say a Thomas. Ooh, who is this? Courtney Lee. I thought that was gonna be a Luca. That would have been great. We got a Frank. Variation. Let's see if it's numbered. Yeah. Numbered to 175. Set that aside here and sleeve that bad boy up. Clay Thompson and Grant Williams. JaVel McGee. Tory Clark, we look like we got a uh, fast break. Uh, card here. Toy Craig, Alan Crab, Ursan Ilyasova. Let's flip that to the last card. And we got a Chris Middleton Fast Break Prism. Nice. Guys like LeBron in this, Giannis, still get a couple bucks out of them. We get one auto per pack, and it looks like it's in here. So we'll go ahead and flip the rest around. We got a Kelly Oubre to 75 Purple Prism. Kevin Durant, Mitchell Robinson, and a J.J. Berea Autograph Fast Break. Get those in the sleeve here real quick. If you guys are interested in any of these um, or have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. Um, I'll reach out to you as soon as I can. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. I like these fast break ones. I had a, LeBron, uh, a, a Zion fast break one. Um, got it out of a box break, actually. And the store owner wanted it he paid about 10 bucks more than what it was actually going for okay we got a bull bull on the back it's another rookie i like um bull bull he hasn't played yet nobody's seen him but at oregon he could dribble he could drive he could shoot he just needs to put on some muscle we got some tobias harris dennis rodman Zach Collins, let's see if we can get a rookie out of this one. Looks like a TJ Warren Pacer. I'm a Pacers fan myself, so. It's not a Victor Oladipo, but hey, it's still a Pacer. Terrence Mann, another rookie. We got a red coming up here. Joe Ingles and Cameron Johnson, rookie. To 125. See, the centering on here is pretty good. Um, I've been using a jeweler's loop to kind of get the centering and make sure it's something I'd want to send into PSA before I actually do. Um, and I'll show you the centering as well. Lonzo Ball. 
this guy right here, I've probably scooped up about 15 of his rookie cards. You can probably get them for about 25 bucks right now. Rolonzo Ball's rookie card in about a year and a half, two years, as long as he just plays the way he is um, and just really improves a little bit. His rookie card, easily $150. This is what I mean by small investing to make some more money. I make 100 bucks on each card times a 10. 1500 bucks. Terrence Mann. Get him in his sleeve. I actually pulled the Cameron Johnson Hyper um, from Hobby. The Hobby uh, Hyper was about, I think it was going for about 130 whenever I sold it. But hobby box is very expensive. Um, but yeah, we get enough likes, we get enough subscribers. We'll definitely be opening some more hobby boxes. All right, let's get a Zion here now. I haven't seen Zion yet. Or a Jaw. Jaw would be good. RJ Barrett's cool. Oh, Trey Young, second year player. Good player. You can get his rookie card right now, too. Um, once he, uh, once he has a better team around him that plays some defense, his scoring will, alone will just boost that rookie card value. Rudy Gay, Norman Powell, Luck of the Lotto, Cam Reddish. God, this draft class is so deep. You've got Cam Reddish, RJ Barrett, Zion Williamson, Ja Morant, Tyler Hero. Not numbered. And a Jerome, or a Ty Jerome, sorry. He has stepped his game up. I'm holding on to about five or six of his base right now. That's another guy that I would invest in. Um, he didn't get too much playing time early on, but the last couple weeks before the season ended, he was playing at a very high level. Michael Porter Jr., good player. That's another guy you should get a rookie card of. Um, I know I'm saying get a lot of rookie cards, but out of all of the rookie cards, some of them will pan out, and when they do, it'll bring you back the money you've invested, and then some. Marcus Morris, Miles Leonard, and Quindary Weatherspoon. Not numbered. Seth Curry. The first pack I opened was a fast break box and got a Quindary Weatherspoon autograph out of it. All right, we're not gonna look. It says New Orleans Pelicans. Carl Malone, Kyle Kuzma, Andre Robertson, Kevin Durant Fireworks, and a Jackson Hayes base rookie. KD's card's gone up too, KD's rookie card. Um, they're probably going for about $300 right now. Uh, last I checked, it's been a few days. Right now, the way with the virus going on and um, just a lot of people getting laid off, the market has dropped a little bit. So if you're actually looking to invest, it's kind of like the stock market. Um, the market's dropped as far as pricing goes for cards. Uh, same thing with stocks. Right now, you can get some stocks trading at 5, 6, 7, 8 PE ratio. Whereas in January, we were looking somewhere in the range of 18 to 20. So it's a good buy time. Goran Dragic, Mikhail Bridges, Denzel Valentine, Fast Break, and Ines Cantor. Right now, options trading is the way that I've been going about it. We've got another Pelican card here. And it looks like it's Josh Hart. I tried to save it for you guys. Sorry about that. 
Hakeem Olajuwon, Etuan Moore. Let's see if it's a rookie. Looks like Grant Hill. Rookie, Isaiah Roby, and a Josh Hart. All right, we need to pull a Zion here. It'd be nice to, at least. Jalen McDaniels. Rookie out of San, Jose, uh, San Diego State. Chris Dunn. Bogdanovich. Terrence Ferguson. Got a James Harden and a Jalen McDaniels. He hasn't seen a lot of playing time. Um, he's need. He does need to bulk up a little bit and improve his shot. But I believe once he does, I think he'll be okay. I'm not saying he's got superstar potential, but he does have potential for his card to go from the dollar or two is going at right now to about 10 or 15 bucks. Got a Raptor. And it's Fred Van Fleet. And two rookies, Nasir Little and Nick Claxton. Let's see this one, number two, 175. R.J. Barrett. There's one. Okay, we got Carl Anthony Towns. Evan Turner. Darren Fox. Luck of the Lotto. Zion Williamson. Hey, that's a hit right there. And it's in the fast break. Not numbered. But hey, we'll take it. And R.J. Barrett. These luck of the lotto Zions and the uh, fast break haven't seen the price in the last two weeks, but I know it was going for about 25 or 30 at its peak. Um, haven't seen it recently, but I'll check that out and I'll leave a link in the dis description below. There's RJ Barrett. We got one of them. That's one of the top three. Now we just need to pull the other two. Ryu Hachimura, he's been playing pretty good too. Got a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Tim Hardaway, Kelly Olynyk. Is that a Darius Garland? Is this a uh, this a variation? Variation fast break Garland. The Cavaliers are trying to build the team around. Kevin Porter Jr. and Darius Garland. This is the rookie you want to have on the Cavs if you are collecting a team. And then Ryu Hachimura. He's been playing very good as well. Let's go ahead and sleeve that one up. All right, we're coming down to the last four packs. Need something special here. Tyler Johnson, Kevon Looney, we got a Wizards player, and it looks like Bra John Wall. I was about to say Bradley Beal. John Wall to 125. Okay. Austin Rivers and Dylan Wiltner. Coming in upside down. Okay, Larry Johnson, Tristan Thompson, Kyle Anderson. Let's see if we can pull a rookie. It looks like it's Robert Covington. It's all right, Isaiah Thomas. All right, two packs left. Let's get some magic in here. Larry Bird, Larry Legend, Larry Nance, back-to-back -back Larrys, De'Aaron De Fox, a fast break Montrez Harrell, it looks like it's going to be 
DeAndre Hunter as our rookie to finish off this pack. He's a good player too. All right, last one. Let's see if we can get a Zion in here to finish off this box. Bismarck Biombo. Giorgio Dang, Jalen Brown. Got a fearless hyper of Giannis Tenekumpo. And we finished the pack with Jay Crowder. Fearless Giannis. All right, so that does it for our fast break box and solo. Uh, we got the Fearless, we got the Fast Break Garland, we got the Luck of a Lot of Zion Williamson, Kevin Durant, Quindarius Weatherspoon, Cam Reddish Luck of the Lotto, TJ Warren, Pacer fan, so I gotta keep on to him. Cameron Johnson to 125. Chris Middleton, Courtney Lee, Kelly Oubre, and then the JJ Berea autograph. Don't forget we pulled a Tyler Hero Green, DeAndre Hunter, RJ Barrett, Jackson Hayes, and Jackson Hayes Silver. So I'll go briefly over this. So the centering, if you take a look at the border between both, this silver is a little thinner on the left side versus the uh, DeAndre Hunter, and then on the right side is just a tad bit thicker. Um, if I got this graded, I may get like a 9.5 with BGS, um, or PSA, it's either a 9 or a 10. Whereas this one, I have a better chance as a 10 just because it's more centered for both sides, as well as the corners are crisp and the back is also good. Um, the way that these grading services work, so PSA is more of on the face uh, visual look, whereas Beckett is more of a let's scan the whole card and actually check the whole dimensions of what's the length on this versus this. And um, when you get a 9.5 from Beckett, you'll probably get a 10 in PSA. However, a 10 in PSA does not mean that it's going to be a 9.5 at Beckett. The goal is if you're going to send to if you're going to send to uh, Beckett, make sure that your centering is really good. The best way to do that is either with a magnifying glass or a loop. Um, the loop will kind of zoom in on it just to give you a better idea. Um, also, with these prism, there are these dots on the side, so you can kind of use those as a measurement. And with Beckett, if you get a pristine 10, your card value shoots up regardless of who the player is, to be honest. Well, that does it for this break. Uh, we didn't get any of the base Zion, but we did get a luck of the lotto. Didn't see any jaw in there, but that's okay. We'll be back with another break next week. Um, if you guys uh, have any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content.